Welcome everyone and thank you for watching. I'm super excited to share my mom's salted fish ham do-it-yourself at home recipe. Now it's perfect weather in Canada to make your salted fish. What you're going to need is six frozen gutted sea trouts. Sea trouts make the best salted fish. The sea trout that we're using comes frozen, so what you need to do is thaw it out and then remove it from its packaging. Rinse it really clean. Sometimes the fish is not cleaned well and there will be scale left on the skin. What you're gonna need to do is take a knife and scrape off any scale that you find from the fish. We're gonna make sure that the fish is nice and clean before we marinate it and hang it dry. The reason I say it's perfect weather to make your own dry salted fish in Canada is that it's sunny and cold. No flies, no critters, and no bugs, so it's perfect for hanging outside. It is ideal to hang the fish out to dry on a sunny and breezy day. Those are the perfect conditions to make yummy salted fish. Use some paper towel to pat the fish dry, then add one tablespoon of rice cooking wine and half a cup of table salt. Rub the rice wine and salt all over the fish as well as inside the belly of the fish. Make sure that you distribute the salt and the rice cooking wine evenly all over all the fish. Cover the fish and place it in the refrigerator and marinate it for a minimum of 24 hours. Tie a string around the tail of each fish and then we're going to bring it outside to hang. It's a super breezy and sunny day so it's perfect conditions to dry out the fish. Some people ask me, is it going to smell? Is it going to stink outside? To be honest, when there's a breeze, I don't smell anything coming from the fish. If you're one of my subscribers and you watch my videos, you'll know that my mom loves to come over and hang things in my backyard. So on top of this ham yu, salted fish that she hangs, she also makes me cured pork belly, which we call lap yok. She also makes lap ap, which is the cured duck. This is day one of hanging our salted fish to dry. We've lined the floor so that nothing drips onto our balcony. It's November in Canada, so it is getting cold and it's a sunny day and has a great breeze. This is day two and thankfully it's still sunny. Unfortunately, on day three, it was rainy, so I left the fish in the basement by a sunny window to dry. Thankfully, days four and six was super sunny and breezy, perfect conditions again. For seven days, we would bring the fish in when the sun went down, and then when the sun comes out, we would bring it out again to dry. Because we had the ideal weather conditions, the salted fish is ready on day seven when it's thoroughly dried. What I like to do is place them in Ziploc bags. They can last a lot longer in the freezer. When I'm ready to eat it, then I bring it out. There's so many different ways you can cook this ham yu salted fish. Adding salted fish to braising recipes adds so much flavor, it's so delicious with eggplant or tofu. But my favorite way to enjoy it is steamed with minced pork. Super yummy and delicious. Leave me a comment and let me know if you've ever eaten salted fish and if you'll ever make your own salted fish at home. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.